we be rising every day. What's going on, beautiful bees? I hope all you guys are doing wonderful. Today we're coming in strong with a video on viruses. What we've all been dealing with for the past two years. However, viruses have been around forever. We've evolved with viruses and bacteria and we have them within us. And there are actually more viruses than all the stars in the universe. So for me, it's, and especially with what in my nutrition, nutrition studies, my holistic nutrition studies, what does it come down to? Well, this is right from the doctor's book. The key area of the body in protection and healing from viral conditions is the immune system. And what is our immune system? Well, we have our innate immune system, which is our first line of defense, that being our skin, you know, our mucosa. The skin being the largest eliminative organ and that's our first line of defense. And then of course we have our second and third line of defense. We have our T and B cells, macrophages, natural killer cells. And this is all part of our immune system. And our lymphatic system is also a part of that, which is, which is where we got our blood and then our lymph system and our lymph system is where a lot of these lymphocytes travel within. And I should have done this video a while ago, but um, studying nutrition, uh, I just gained a lot more knowledgeable information from a variety of doctors who have been in this field a lot longer than I have. And when you look at the likes of Dr. Zach Bush, they really understand about viruses and what it comes down to is our microbiome and also the environment that we're creating on this planet and how we're we're disconnected from nature and mother nature and a lot of what we have done to mother nature. And, you know, that, that comes from the spraying of pesticides, of glyphosate, what that does on the external environment and how that impacts us because we are deeply connected. And when we look at our microbiome, we see that it houses many bacteria, viruses, um, yeast, protozoa, parasites, biofilms. There's a whole ecosystem going on in our microbiome. And that's one thing like in the last two years that I never saw mainstream news and even big pharma and their, a lot of their doctors talk about is nutrition and what we can do to our microbiome and what we can do to boost our immune system, seeing that it is one of the key areas in viral conditions. And why is that not being talked about? Well, you have to understand that this goes back thousands of years and Hippocrates said it, let your food be your medicine. But um, a lot of information is being suppressed. A lot of truth is being censored. A lot of people are getting, and um, doctors are getting banned. You can't even say certain words here on YouTube. Even I have to be very careful with this video on what I say. So if I'm pausing and treading lightly, you'll know that's because I don't want to be kicked off and I, I really like talking with you guys, connecting with you guys. And I, I love this platform and I'm very grateful to have this platform and to have a voice. 
and a lot of our voices are being, you know, suppressed. <laughs> people are getting, um, if you're wondering why there's not that many people uh, in the holistic world on YouTube anymore, it's either they've been banned, they've been kicked off YouTube, they've been censored, uh, or they've had several strikes and they've had videos removed where they can't talk about it anymore. And uh, this is a huge problem, a huge problem. And you'll see a lot of them are going to other platforms like Rumble. And that's um, what, where we might have to be headed to because when we can no longer say certain words and have open discussions and debates, now we're only hearing one side. And a lot of that one side is heavily um, incentivized. Like, if, if you want to know the truth and answers, you have to follow the money. This goes back to the Rockefellers and the suppression of homeopathic medicine and the rise of Big Pharma. There's a lot of monetary gain, a lot of monetary incentives. And if you look at a lot of the commercials out there, who are they being funded by? Who is the World Health Organization funded by? You just have to ask certain questions and you start to connect the dots and you start to realize truth has been suppressed for a long time. And that's not a conspiracy theory. That is well known. <laughs> and it's when you go on this path, and I have gone on this path of natural healing. I've healed myself naturally. You guys know you followed me a long time. We don't have to get into that. But for those new watching this video, I have seen the miraculous, mir miraculous creation of our body and what it can do given the right nutrition, overdosing on nutrition and going back to simplicity and health and what is health and what is dis-ease and what is our immune system. So I won't get into, <clears throat> we won't go down any rabbit holes today. <laughs> and um, all I suggest is keep an open mind. Don't just trust one source of information just because the science. Science is always changing, ever evolving. And what works one day may not work the next. We could clearly see that with medications. One day, one medication's approved. Years later, it's no longer approved because of certain side effects. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. What I'm currently studying is holistic nutrition. And that means looking at a holistic approach and realizing that the whole body and mind is connected, all of our body systems, including respiratory, intestinal, endocrine, lymphatic, is all connected. And we've been taken away from what we've always known, that our body is miraculous. And a lot of times we just have to get out of the way of ourselves and not let fear guide us. There's one thing you can take away from this. It's not, do not let fear guide you. Do not let fear rush you into making a decision. Follow your heart. Trust your intuition. Your intuition is your inner guidance. It's your North Star. It, it, it guides you when something does not feel right and when something does feel right. We have been taken away from nature. We've been taken away from our intuition. And we've been taken away from Mother Nature, our, our first mother. And it's time we connect back. And it's time we connect back with ourselves. And then we can, tr then we can truly understand how nature works, how bacteria works, how viruses work. And we have evolved with them. And... And what I've come to realize is there's nothing to fear. When we look at healing, 
first of all, what, what we look at in, in my nutrition program is looking at ways to reduce the number of illnesses, viruses through immune support, through detoxification, through enhancing immune function overall, and ways to improve cell wall integrity and general health. So we look at health. And what is health? Well, in this program, most illnesses are usually associated with stress and fatigue. So the sympathetic nervous system is always activated where the parasympathetic, ner parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest phase is not being activated enough. So you'll see that a lot of in the last two years, the hospitals were overwhelmed, right? We saw that in the news. If <laughs> even there's the mainstream news and then alternative news, but in alternative news, you also saw that the hospitals were overwhelmed in certain countries and cities. And the reason it has a lot to do with the underlying health problems, which is what I want to really address because the underlying health problems such as diabetes, respiratory issues, such as asthma, bronchitis, uh, cardiovascular disease, did I say diabetes already? These underlying health problems need to be addressed. And what I saw with the mainstream news and big and medical doctors in the last two years is no talk about nutrition, no talk about what we can do to our microbiome, our immune system, our lymphatic system. No talk about that. And you, you can maybe understand because they, they, they don't get nutrition training. Medical doctors get about a half hour, a half hour of nutrition training. And when we look at our immune system, 70% of our immune system is in our microbiome, right? How come the microbiome was not being talked about? So, at, you know, if you're still, if you're still not on this path, you just have to ask yourself certain questions and just keep an open mind, right? So the microbiome, extremely important. Right, if that houses bacteria and viruses and are good bacteria. And a lot of, some medical doctors fear bacteria when we actually need bacteria. We have our good bacteria and that helps protect us. And it's like good soldiers and bad soldiers. We want the good soldiers to protect us, to defend us. And, um, and how do we feed good bacteria? Well, that comes from our diet and the foods we eat every single day, generations upon generations of genes, cells being passed down through families, all created through diet and lifestyle. So food is extremely important as well as stress and sleep. And so what it comes down to is, first of all, are we eating a whole food, natural, alive, good quality food diet. First and foremost, what are we putting in our mouth every single day? Our senses. What are we putting into our senses, right? If our first line of defense is our skin and our mucosa, we need to protect our skin, right? We want to make our skin our strongest defense then. And we want to look at our eliminative channels, such as our digestive tract. Are we eliminating? Are we getting in enough fiber? Fiber is so important. There's a lot of talk out there that fiber is not important, but fiber is very important. Feeding our good, our good soldiers is also very important. So getting in the probiotics, I actually got some in my pumpkin smoothie here. <laughs> pumpkin, the, the fruit of the season right now, it's high in beta carotene, very, very good for the skin. You guys know I've had skin cancer, so I wanna do the best I can to protect my skin. And I do still get sunshine. Vitamin D, the hormone, is the essential for viruses, colds and flus, our immune system. So getting, I get about 15 minutes, I don't burn. I used to burn and I think that's what got me in a lot of my skin issues. But I still love that sun on my skin. The hormone is essential for our health and our immune system. I could do a whole video and I will do on vitamin D. 
uh, taking in the sun, in the winter time here up in Canada, we don't get that much sun. So I take this supplement, a D3 supplement and, um, and also vitamin C also very, very essential for viruses, colds and flus. So a lot of people are not eating enough fruit. A lot of people are not eating enough vegetables and we wonder why our society is so sick and has so many chronic health problems and underlying health problems. And we look in this, in this nutrition studies, we look at the root cause and why there's so many health problems and why there's so many imbalances in our society. People are also very stressed, right? So we want to look at calming the nervous system and getting into more peaceful environments for ourselves because we have this one life and we don't want to be in a stressful environment. So we have to make certain changes in order to, in order for our health, right? In order for our mental health as well. Mental health and emotional health is also extremely important because so many people have had trauma. So many people have had so much pain in the last two years obviously has taken a toll on people's mental health and emotional health and that's not talked about enough either and it's what you're tuning into i don't have cable tv i don't even tune into the news at all because it's a lot of times if it bleeds it leads right negativity i don't that's why i'm not a channel where you know there's some channels that all they do is pump out drama pump out fear and that's not, you, that's not what you're going to find here because I'm about elevating beyond that, not letting fear guide you, not tuning into that. A lot of people, it's not only what you're consuming through your mouth, but what your eyes and your ears and what you're listening to and consuming through those senses. I know I went on a bit of a tangent there, but that's also very important. And we're going on 17 minutes here and I'm talking a lot. But our immune system, our microbiome, we need to reduce stress. We need to work on eliminating what's no longer serving us and bringing in what does serve us. So whole foods is key. A lot of also people are asking, am I raw? Am I cooked? I do both. I think raw is important. Getting into live enzymes is important from fruits, whole oranges, grapefruit, whatever fruit you like, whatever fruit you, you feel good on, grapes, berries. Lots of flavonoids, phytonutrients in there. Phyto means light, right? So we're getting in that light energy from the sun, from these fruits and vegetables, which is going to awaken our cells and give our cells energy that we need. A lot of people don't have much energy nowadays, and that also stems from what they're consuming. When there's colds, flus, and viruses, we don't want to be bringing in congesting foods like dairy, breads, white flour, junk food, processed food, sweet foods. Uh, we want to bring in lots of water content. In my biochemistry course that I just took, we look at the molecules in our food. Our, the cell's primary fuel source is glucose, C6, H12, O6, right? Carbon but also has water content, H2O, two hydrogens, one oxygen. So we're looking at the chemistry as well in our food and making sure that we're eating a lot of fruits and vegetables that are hydrating for our skin, our body, our eliminative organs. And when particular, when people have viruses, we want to also make sure that you're getting vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, magnesium, all very important minerals. Um, pumpkin seeds, that's where you can get a lot of the, the zinc from right now. And amino acids, also important. L-lysine in particular. Very, very important. Um, you can get that through uh, legumes, nuts. Uh, if you're people that eat meat, animal products, um, I just suggest don't go the factory farm route because they pump a lot of hormones in those animals. And, um, and for me, like if you're, if you have a virus or cold and flu, I would particularly, my recommendation is to increase fruit and vegetables consumption. You can do broths like soups, vegetable juices, um, apples contain a lot of pectin, very, very good for your microbiome, getting in probiotics, 
probiotics, life life foods. So sauerkraut, I have coconut yogurt in this smoothie here. And we want to feed that good bacteria. And that is what's going to help bring up our immune system. Um, we don't want to be eating, you know, excess fats and oils as well. Eliminating the junk food, the processed foods. If you see a food that ha it's in a package and you read the ingredients and you don't even know what these ingredients are, the body's going to have a hard time digesting that and assimilating it and breaking that down. The body, the, 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 I look at the body as a very intelligent creation, uh, really well designed if given the right nutrition. And there's so many, I can't, we're going on over 20 minutes now, but I, I'm just giving certain pointers on certain things, but we can go into greater detail, like I said, into the amino acids, into vitamin D, vitamin C, zinc, uh, B vitamins, also very important. Herbs, oregano, thyme, dill. If you can sprinkle those herbs on your salads or however you want to get them in. Also very good for viruses, colds and flus. Lemons, lemon water, you know, you, people drink lemon water in the morning, but that's actually very good for your liver. Very good for detoxifying your liver and breaking up mucus, right? So people get like mucus and their coffee and they're congested. Dairy products you want to stay away from because that will just congest you even more as well as the refined carbohydrates. So we're looking at a whole food, natural, alive, live enzyme diet. First and foremost, reducing stress. We'll do a video on that. Working on your emotions, letting go of what's no longer serving you. Working through trauma, abuse, mental thoughts that are not serving you, that are negative. Um, and looking at a whole, whole diet and lifestyle change uh, when it comes to dealing with any chronic conditions, bringing the body back into homeostasis, which is balance. And that's really what it comes down to. These systems that we have that are all connected, whether it be the respiratory system, the endocrine system, the intestinal system, the digestive system, the musculatory system, we could keep going lymphatic system. They're all connected. They're all connected through lymphatic, through the lymphatic system, through lymph vessels. And that's why when you jump on a rebounder, you're pumping your lymphatic system. You're getting the, your, your heart has a pump, but your lymphatic system needs to be pumped. So getting an exercise, sweating, very, very important. More to come on this. We barely touched the surface. This is like 101. <laughs> but uh, this is all very interesting to me and I'm very passionate about this because I didn't see anything talked. I didn't see any talk about nutrition. And so that's why I'm making this video and I have to tread very lightly on what I say um, because I want you guys to get the information. And I want, um, I want to see a better planet and I know that we must be the change. It has to start with us and suppressing symptoms, putting band-aids on symptoms will, will just be like a cat chasing its tail, you know? So it's a, for me, it's about getting to the root cause and looking at these imbalances and bringing the body back into a state of balance. And we need that also for this planet. This planet has been way out of balance and um, what we're going to see is the rise of the fe femininity for mother nature and um, that needs to happen because we as a, as a species, as a society, have gone way off track in what we've done to this planet. So for my females out there and my males, <laughs> It's time we take our power back. It's time that we not let fear guide us. It's time that we let love guide us and we put love at the forefront. 
and start taking care of ourselves because we deserve it. And to do that, we have to make changes and that's for our health. And we have this one life, which is precious. Every day is precious. Every day is a gift. I have gratitude every day that I'm here on this planet, that I'm talking with you. And, uh, and we must realize that we are the, we have the power, we have the control and we need to stop giving our power and control away because we have an intuition, whatever you want to call it, whether, you know, whether you want to call that God or a higher, um, you know, your a higher power that we connect with that we, you realize that we are, you know, in the driver's seat and there's a bigger hand at play here. Uh, we just have to get into alignment of what we're here to do, our purpose. And when we do that, we'll of course be rising, <laughs> but we'll, uh, we'll see a better planet because people will be in, in a better frequency and energy state than what we've been seeing. A lot of people are, are just totally, um, a lot of people are unconscious and, uh, and it's time we all realize what's going on here and realize our true power and potential. And uh, to do that, we have to go within. We have to spend some time walking through nature, through getting in a peaceful environment. And connecting back with ourselves. So when we do that, we'll all be on the health journey. We'll all be on the health path. And we'll all be connecting back to nature. And when we do that, we will all be rising. By the way, you guys, there are signs. And here's, <laughs> here's an example. If you, want, if you want to know how I got a sign, I came to this, uh, this house that I'm currently in and I was cleaning out the vents. And guess what was in the vent, you guys? See that? If you if if there's a sign, that is a sign right there. We will all be <laughs> rising. You guys take take it easy. Stay stay healthy. Stay happy. And.